Hey everybody, Nick Furshaw here with Jonah Friedman for MLSsoccer.com's Road to Brazil, presented by Castrol GTX High Mileage. It was a windy and chilly night here at Candlestick Park in San Francisco, the beginning of the three-game send-off series for the U.S. national team as they prepare for the World Cup next summer. Now, the result here, a 2-0 win over Azerbaijan, never really a concern for U.S. fans. They were more curious about the formations, the players on the field, and how much of a glimpse that's going to be as we look forward to Brazil what was the biggest storyline for you on the field for the U.S.? Well, obviously the diamond is the big story for this one because the U.S. national team under Jurgen Klinsmann has not really run that formation very much. For 90 minutes against Mexico in a friendly last month, and for 45 minutes in that game, they really pressed Mexico. It really worked well. Michael Bradley in particular was brilliant. In the second half, it started to fizzle out a little, a little tougher to break Mexico down. Tonight, pretty much for almost the entire 90 minutes, this Azerbaijan team was very difficult to break down. So that diamond midfield, if that is indeed Jurgen Klinsmann's preferred formation for Brazil, it's something they're going to have to iron out. Now, uh, the guys who got the goals in this one came off the bench, so the starting lineup didn't quite get it done. Mix Diskerud and Aaron Johansson with the second half goals, but you mentioned that diamond midfield formation. Somebody has to stay at home in that number six role and do some of the dirty work. Kyle Beckerman got the start against Mexico last month. Jermaine Jones got the start on Tuesday night and played very well, according to Jurgen Klinsmann. Now Jermaine, you know, played throughout years, you know, different roles, you know, mainly as an eight, meaning kind of a little bit higher up, similar to Michael Bradley today. If we play a diamond like we did, then, you know, it's really important that he stays there and he kind of uh, protects our, our two center backs and builds a triangle with them. And uh, with his passing technique, you know, he can open up, switch a game right away. Today, very difficult because he couldn't hit any high balls. You know, so, uh, but he understood that role. He says, well, I played that, I don't know how many times, it's, it's, no, it's no big deal. And the way he recovers balls and is physical with the opponent is just uh, one of his strengths, you know, that we hopefully see in Brazil as well. Now, one of the biggest issues Jurgen Klinsmann uh, is going to have to deal with over the next three weeks is injuries, hoping to stay healthy before the U.S. heads down to Brazil, and they certainly weren't tonight. Clint Dempsey missed this game. He was a late scratch with a groin injury, and it appears Omar Gonzalez not fully 100%, at least not good enough to get into the starting lineup. Jeff Cameron started in center back, but is it a concern for the team right now? I don't know if it's a huge concern. I talked to Dempsey after the game. He said he tweaked it in training yesterday, and it's a little bit of a concern. It didn't really think too much about it going into tonight's game, but during one he said it wasn't feeling that great. I said, well, then why did you even try to push it for this game? He's like, hey, man, you want to play? Uh, telling us also that maybe two to three days he'll be back on the field training in full, and he says he absolutely 100% will be ready for that turkey game. Now that turkey game is June 1st at Red Bull Arena. That's the next time you're going to see the national team on the field. They'll practice at Stanford University on Wednesday before they split and finally leave the West Coast after a couple weeks here, and they'll head east. That game again, June 1st against Turkey, the next glimpse of the U.S. national team. Make sure you keep it tuned to MLSsoccer.com for complete coverage of the road to the World Cup and another edition of Brazil Bound coming at you tomorrow from the studio in New York.